Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode one of the stories of girls who couldn't be magicians. Honestly, this this and a couple other things are like my most anticipated. I was super duper excited for this when this um got announced and everything because I love anything magical girl, witch themed and stuff, like bread and butter, just as much as my villainous shows, but oof, yes. Um I've already seen how cute Suitsy this is gonna be. I'm honestly just once again even more excited than I was the first time. But you know, I'm ready to see. Hopefully this gives a lot of feels towards Little Witch Academia because love the crap out of that and such. So fingers crossed. But other than that, it's gotta get started in three, two, one, go. I love how very much watercolor it is. It's very beautiful. It, it really almost like pops like a storybook. Cut me, don't cry, honey. It's gonna be okay. I wouldn't go outside, but okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, then why don't you train her? Oh. Well, that's going to be some importance later on, I'm guessing. Oh. Okay, I love her hair. It, it's just instantly giving feels to Pokemon.
Oh, it's a pretty dormitory. I love everybody's hair. The girl's hair. Oh, my God. I'm guessing you got the crappy dorm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So did they put you on like the waiting list now, even though you got rejected? Right? Just keep trying your best, kidding me? It's gonna be okay. Girl, <laughs> Did you see how much he took? Oh my god. Butt off. You you got this. You can still become a magician. You're gonna be fine. So be proud about that. Okay, there you go. Dedication. Continue with that dedication, honey. Yes, keep that positivity, even though you got rejected. Uh, honey, who cares? You got it from someone who is like your idol. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's going to be okay. Oh, she's pretty. Love her long hair. Okay, so we got a boy who's currently bored with his life and doesn't want to be, you know, special, special magician. So he's just like, screw it. I'd rather be a regular. A normie. She seems like a popular girl. Oh, what the heck? Mm -mm. Show where we going with this. Cute. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think she's really grateful that she got the opportunity. <laughs> okay. Pretty. You know who he sounds like? He sounds like Dice Gate on If that is him, oh. So then what are they supposed to do if no teacher has been assigned? Yeah. Was she talking about food? Well, where else did you think she was going to go? <laughs> mm -hmm, come on, it might be fun. So that's basically what that little notebook is. You might get in trouble.
Pan. And that's exactly what that little notebook is. Well, you were just lucky. You got one from her. You didn't know what it was so many years ago when you were a kid. Um, uh, and it could be better. Like what, honey? There's nothing you can do. Oh, that's Easy. I'm guessing we'll find out later. Okay, how do you know code me then? Well, why don't you open it real quick? Oh, wait! Okay. 
and your teacher is it's gonna be the girl with the blue hair right <laughs> yep it makes the most sense oh she's shorty short <laughs> there you go I mean, it's super small. You would think that, like, they can make it bigger. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, it's about to be bad. Okay, first initial thought. This is really... Super duper cute, super duper adorable. Super cute, super adorable. Um, could have been, she's super cute. Like, oh my god, I love the fact that she is very like the happy go lucky girl. She gives you very much like the uh, pink cure vibes from pretty cure in a nutshell, or she gives you the hella Akko vibes, except I, cause like her and Akko, they definitely would be friends. I can definitely see that, but she's very much still like a almost quite re reserved person while Akko is very much in your face trying to like get that connection across. She'd be like, Hey, yo, be like, all right, calm, calm girl, calm down. Like, it's okay. Chill, but I'm out. But no, 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 no. Everyone else seems cool. You do like to see how, she reminds me of what's her face from also uh, Little Witch Academia, but um, I don't remember her name. Um, here, here's my thing, because she has the bitchiness. Of course, she is the mean girl and such, especially with her two, you know, other friends, aka her lackeys and such. Or you know, they just get to be good friends, but they're like, no, her way is the best way. It's either her or the highway. Um, but Yuzu seems very also reserved as well. I I can't believe someone as her also failed and is in the standard program maybe like does she not care and such does she not work hard enough especially with the guy who she's also friends with he's over here he's like he possibly failed the test he didn't really give two shits about it and such so it is a lot of unanswered questions with this one already especially with only the first episode okay the other thing i want to know the magical notebooks now, I think the the one that Kurumi is idolizing, the one magician that she saw as a kid, I think that is, she's voiced by Yui, uh, I think her name is Hori, I believe is her last name, aka Hanekawa from Anagatari, or like so many other things that I've seen and love her in. Um, I do wonder if she's ever going to pop up again. She has to, it makes sense, because like, duh. But she knew the moment she gave her that notebook that yes this is the type of notebook that instantly you don't have to excuse me you don't have to obey i cannot speak you can't you can't wave a magic wand it automatically does everything for you aka a phone in a nutshell so it's like did she know immediately 
that Kurumi was not going to pass and such, that she automatically wasn't going to be a magician and just gave her this to be like, oh, hey, um, you're probably going to have to use this, but eventually until you do become one, use this for now. Possibly. I don't know because, you know, sometimes you can't really predict something off in just one freaking episode. But no, this really seems good. I love the fact, I love the colors. You need to shut up, Alexa. Um, the colors of it, once again, very much watercolor, very much a pop-up, very popping out. I love that. That's really, really cute. It gives me feels to, um, it's the Something for Sally's series that is getting a remake movie-wise. Because, once again, very ridiculously beautiful. Like, God, for a first episode, y'all went in. And it's only episode one once again. But no, this is really good. I'm honestly very hopeful for this and excited to see what the heck is going to happen next. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of the stories of the girls who couldn't become magicians. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I should see you guys, I think, Saturday for this show. I'm not 100% sure. But depending on how the aftermath of the hurricane comes this weekend uh, or really today going into tomorrow. And if I'm out of power, you're probably not going to see the next video until next week. But we won't know until we get there. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.